So I just got done rewatching uh, Dances with Wolves for I don't know the first time in years. Um, I I don't know. I don't remember um, when I last watched it, or even if it was more than maybe twice before. So I decided to compare it to Avatar since that film is still fresh in my memory. This is gonna hold some spoilers but I'm gonna warn before I get into them but basically I'm making this video for people who've seen both so just keep that in mind the basic message is pretty much exactly the same you know you've both in both you've got the Native Americans or the Nari are closer to nature than the civilized man um, and the and civilized man you know, comes and does his imperialist thing and, you know, forces the natives out, um, or tries to. I think I had forgotten, and I can imagine some others might have, um, how black and white The Dances with Wolves also is, because, I mean, when you say, I mean, yes, Avatar is very black and white, 100%, but so is Dances with Wolves. I mean, there's there's very, very little of, you know, the white man. You know, in, in both of them, apart from the lead, the white man is pretty much the bad guy. And there's no real middle ground, you know. Both are visually stunning. Um, fantastic cinematography and editing. Both are epic films. Both of them have amazing battle sequences. Both have a bunch of dialogue that is not in English. Avatar doesn't delve quite as deeply into, you know, them learning how to communicate, partially because it uses the the easy out of, you know, oh, we built schools, we tried to teach some of them English, so that's why some of them speak it. Also, before people get too excited about calling Avatar a rip-off, do remember Dances with Wolves itself is sort of a remake of Run of the Arrow. Um, you can see that on IMDb from 1957. Haven't seen it, but I hear it's only good for the, the, the moral and such. I suppose you could say that Avatar fixes what isn't broken, but I, I personally view it as it's putting it back out there for the new generation and let's face it, how many kids and teens today are gonna go for a movie that's 20 years old? And both use the, the narration through a sort of diary thing. I suppose one, one of the biggest differences really is that where Dances with Wolves is a, a drama, a western drama, Avatar is a sci-fi adventure. And I suppose if you want to use the word propaganda, I can't really claim that that's inaccurate. I don't know, I guess it's up to the individual if propaganda is ever okay if it... if it can be said to be less wrong when used with the right intent when, you know, I mean, trying to promote ideas that, you know, they believe is the right way to go. Obviously, Costner is the better actor than um, I mean, Worthington's fine, but he's not really asked to do much. And Dances with Wolves is the more compelling drama. But they're, they're, they're going for different things. They're approaching it in different ways. Dances with Wolves is going at it from the humanity angle and, and how positive the, the Native American society and culture are. And Avatar is trying to win you over with how astonishing this world is. And I don't really think either is the wrong thing to do. I mean, Cameron wants us to appreciate nature more, and he does this by showing us a nature that truly is magical and amazing, you know. It's pretty depressing to think that people have actually walked out of the theater just wanting to go to Pandora, as opposed to with the newfound idea in their head of 
oh my god, let's preserve the world before, but whatever. And both are basically Hollywood movies. I mean, I hear a lot of stuff about how Avatar is like propaganda and such, but it's a Hollywood movie with a message. Of, of course it's gonna be preachy and, you know, try to manipulate us into believing it. That's, that's what they do. Hollywood movies with a message. I mean, yes, there are exceptions, but the majority of Hollywood movies that are communicating some message, you know, are preachy about it. And this is when I get into the spoilers. The ending is a bit more of a downer in Dances with Wolves, and I think Avatar... I mean, there's a while where you actually sort of think, oh my god, is he really gonna die, you know? But it's an adventure movie, you know, how, how many of those have actually have the main character die or wind up losing? I don't know, all in all, I think Dances with Wolves is maybe, probably, gonna be the more remembered film. But I don't think Avatar is bad. I just... I can imagine that once other movies are produced with that... With those effects, that level of quality... People are gonna start forgetting Avatar. Um, I just hope the message lingers. That's all I have for this one. I will see you next time.